Let's talk about the, uh, the Tower Basil Trios. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited to talk about this because these are great basil plants and I'm gonna tell you some of the, the really nice features about them. First of all, the trio has three different types of, uh, of plants in it, basil plants. Um, there's a variegated form, there's a Thai, kind of a spicy Thai tower, and then there's your regular sweet Italian basil that uh, you know we all love. So anyway, why, why do you call them towers, Mark? Because they grow like a tower. They are an upright plant, very unique shape, and, um, and they, they stay like that throughout the season. They just don't go They stay nice and tight, and, uh, and you get a ton of basil off of each one of these plants. So um, the other thing is they call them Everleaf. And the reason they call them Everleaf is because these basil plants don't go into bloom right away. They will eventually, but not right away. Uh, and you don't want your basils to bolt. Now, what does that mean, bolting? That means your basil plants start flowering and they have like these little spiky flowers that come out and you just don't want that because what that does is it draws all the flavor out of the plant and some basils just get really bitter when you let them bolt or go into flower. So these have delayed bolting. Um, I grew some last year. They never bolted at all, which was uh, pretty impressive to me. And the flavor is just great on all three of these, uh, these varieties, these tower varieties. Now let's talk about how or where you can plant them. I planted mine in a, in a decent sized container. It was 12, maybe 16 inches in diameter, one plant. And it, it filled that plant. It stayed nice and upright. And I could just go out and trim basil off of it all season long until, it really until frost. Um, but you can plant them right in the garden. You can mix them in with your tomato plants. Um, you can plant them. You can even mix them in among flowers because they're just an attractive plant. But uh, either way, make sure they're in full sun. Make sure um, if they're in containers, you want to feed them with uh, like a plant food like Nature Source, probably once a week. If they're out in the garden, it's not bad to feed them once a week also. And um, the other thing is use your basil plants. I mean, trim it off. You can use it in fresh salads. Uh, and you can make pesto, you can use it with sauce, you can just chop it up, and um, there's just a lot of nice usage for, for basil. So, and they want you to use, basil plants want you to keep trimming that, that uh, those, their leaves off because they just get larger and, and, and branch out much better when you use them, okay? One final, uh, um, benefit or point I want to make about the tower basils is you can, especially if you plant them in containers, you can move them into the house, put them by a sunny window and actually harvest fresh basil throughout the winter. So it's a uh, great value of a plant um, and you know there aren't a lot of plants you can bring in the house that are edible that actually produce but these tower basils will. So. Um, give, it a, give it a try. I think you'll be really happy if you've grown other kinds of basil. You'll definitely want to switch, um, mainly because they don't bolt and go to flower and uh, you don't have to really deal with that issue any longer.